Oh, man. Warning. You're about to witness me attempt to eat more donuts in one day than anyone ever has in the history of mankind. Do not attempt to try what you're about to see at home. I'm giving myself one day to consume my body weight in donuts. I've taken down 100 Krispy Kreme donuts. I've eaten 5,000 calories worth of donuts for an entire week, but this challenge is on another level of crazy. All right, everyone, it's time to see how many donuts I'm gonna have to eat today. So for every pound that I weigh, I have to eat one donut. All right, here goes nothing. Probably should weigh in again. One hundred and sixty donuts. <laughs> That's a lot of donuts. Now I could go out and just eat a bunch of donuts, but I decided that I wanted to make today's challenge just a little extra interesting. So check this out right here. I have numbers one through 10. We'll just call these the donut rolls. Before every single meal in today's challenge, I'm gonna let a random number generator choose what the rule is for that meal. I'm gonna put all the donut rules right along the side for you all. Some of these donut rules are going to really help me and some of these donut rules are really going to hurt me. For example, if the number generator lands on number seven, I have to make that meal only my least favorite donut flavors. But if I roll a five, every donut that I eat in that meal counts as two donuts. Anyways, like I said, I felt like this was a great way to make this challenge a little bit extra interesting. So before we get to meal number one, it's time to see what the number generator is going to land on. All right, number eight. Number eight, what is number eight? Good old Krispy Kreme donuts. All right, everybody, it is time to get this party started. This is about to be a crazy day of donuts. Man, <laughs> I'm so excited for this because I love donuts. And oh, so the first box is going to be a classic dozen of the original Krispy Kreme glazed donuts. The second dozen is going to be an assorted Krispy Kreme dozen right there. And then we have a third dozen with original glaze. And then I got two maple bars and one eclair. And that's not gonna be it everyone because Krispy Kreme just came out with their all new Twix donuts. These are looking absolutely legendary. And just because I love donuts and I'm feeling extra confident today myself, I'm gonna set an eight hour time limit for myself to be able to take down my body weight in donuts. So as you can see, it is 12 o'clock right now. What day is it today? February 24th, eight hours is on the clock. I think I'm gonna be able to do this one. I've taken down 100 Krispy Kreme donuts in one sitting. I've eaten 5,000 calories of donuts every single day for an entire week. And I can eat a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts in under a minute. So I think I got this one in the back. Let's do this. So the day on the job. All right, we're ready to get this started. I got my decaf coffee right over here. It's time to get today started in three, two, and one. <clears throat> All right, everybody, well, first half dozen are down. It's starting off on a really good note. Donuts. They just have a special place in my heart. All right, first dozen is down. Starting off delicious, everyone. I love my donuts. All right, it's gonna be assorted next. I never know which one this is. Obviously, we know it's filled. Let's see what's on the inside. This is the cake batter. It's a classic from Krispy Kreme. It tastes like you're literally biting into a slice of cake. All right, two, four, six. All right, so 18 donuts have been eaten. Now, without a doubt, the biggest barrier to me completing today's challenge is going to be flavor fatigue. Because as I'm sure you can imagine, eating straight up sugar for an entire day in the form of donuts, it can get pretty boring on your taste buds. All right, so I'm gonna need to strategize as much as possible. And for me, strategizing means gracing these delicious donuts with some delicious salty bacon. Where are my bacon people at? Comment down below. W. Oh, W. All 
All right, well, I'm doing uh, the best I can right now. Uh, we have two, four, 13 donuts left in this meal. Now, I mentioned earlier that flavor fatigue is gonna be a big enemy of mine. And my second biggest enemy is going to be donuts like this today, which are filled with extra, oh, excuse me, extras. I'll just put it that way. Donuts like this tend to weigh a lot more, take up more space in my stomach, all that sort of stuff. Left and then these all new limited edition Twix donuts from Krispy Kreme. Full disclosure, I actually have these on my second channel. I was a tad bit blown away. I mean, just take a moment to admire that. That is, that is pure deliciousness. Everyone, it's filled with caramel. Like, for real. All right, everybody, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there. And the total amount of donuts consumed so far, I'm also gonna put on the screen as well. So it's currently 12.40, and it looks like we have about seven hours and 35 minutes remaining. I decided to leave out these two donuts from meal number one because they're gonna come in handy in just a few minutes. I'm gonna show you how to carb cycle properly. Alrighty, folks, so the bike ride is done. So it's time for the number generator to choose where I go next for my donuts. Alright, number three, number three, is number three? Oh, number three is the most popular donut stop near me. Now, what is the most popular donut spot near me? Most popular donut near me. Ooh, Donutopolis. So I'm gonna do that apple fritter right there. And then I'll do this chocolate one right here. Blue sprinkle with vanilla. I'll do one right next Perfect, thanks so much. I'm so excited for this. Oh my goodness. Can we just take a moment, everyone, to admire that? Those are some legendary looking donuts right there. Whew. I can tell y'all right now that these are most likely gonna be the highest quality donuts I'll be eating in this video. <laughs> Wow, just like check out the presentation on these, all right? These are looking absolutely amazing. I actually came here when I filmed my last birthday cheat day video that I have on my other channel, which is down below in the description if you want to go check it out. And it was absolutely amazing. I'm really hoping that these are going to be just as amazing as the last ones were. Also got some water as well. Water is very important. Got to hydrate everybody. All right, everyone. So it's 416, still the same day. It's like I just crossed the four hour mark for how much time I have left. I am going to get into this because I have a lot of donuts to eat. The hardest thing for me is just not knowing which one to start with. <laughs> I think I wanna start with this one. This one looks cute. All right, it's a, uh, it's like a cocoa pebble donut. Here we go, three, two, one. The cereal isn't stale. I go so far. Now let's see how they're similar. Awesome. OG glazed. Not bad. Now this is the one I'm most excited about everyone. You should all know by now that cronuts are absolutely amazing. And when donut places usually make cronuts, they make them in the shape of donuts, but this place does it in the shape of a croissant, all right? So it's basically like a croissant donut instead of a donut croissant. It just looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. Just listen to that crunch. Woo, W. Oh, W. That's good. And now this is called a buttermilk bar. Now, I probably shouldn't have gotten this because it's way bigger than your average donut, but buttermilk bars are absolutely amazing.
part, everybody, while we have um, our donuts left, I decided to get this one right here because it's a uh, it's a vegan donut, and you know, I gotta show some love to all the vegans and vegetarians that still watch my videos, right? I love all you guys. And surprisingly, this one is one of the best. Getting in this cooler right here. Very light and very tasty. <laughs> and now for the final one, the apple fritter. I love apple fritters. Oh. All right, everybody, well, those donuts are down. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the total calories consumed right up there, and uh, total macros will be right up there as well, along with the total donuts consumed. So it looks like that took us about 20 minutes. Now, let's see what our number generator is gonna give us. I'm really hoping I get something good. All right, number five. There's number five. Yes! I seriously needed this. Last 10 minutes of driving, I feel like I've just been hit by a truck. Oh, that's not good. Anyways, I'm back at Krispy Kreme because I landed on the number that I landed on. You guys will see why in just a few seconds. And I really hope they have what I need because if they don't, my plan is really not going to work out. And that's gonna suck a lot. No problem. Yo, Krispy Kreme, if you guys are watching, you guys should hook me up. Obviously, I love your products. How's it going? Do you guys have your minis in stock? Uh, yes, we do. We have the chocolate sprinkles, the six minis, the strawberry sprinkles, and the original blaze, and the sugar one. Let me go ahead and get assorted 16, please. And then I'm gonna get, okay, so 16. So I need nine more, so. All right, and will that be all for you today? That's gonna be it. So, man. Are you a member with us? I probably should be by now, but I'm, I'm not. Where's my phone? Looks like we have two hours and 54 minutes remaining. Goodness gracious. Ugh. Now for this meal, since I landed on the magical number, all of the donuts that I consume in this meal will be multiplied by two, which is fantastic because I need some serious, serious help right now if I'm gonna get to my goal. So instead of getting regular donuts, I made sure to maximize my donut consumption and get smaller donuts, which is gonna help me a lot with stomach capacity. So that's what we're looking at for meal number three. All right, so let's start off with the sprinkle one. It tastes like a donut. And now for the strawberry sprinkle. It's like the only fruit I would be getting today. Now for the Twix. It's good. All right, those are down. Now we have these left over. Oh, oh man. I'll tell you guys, some of these ideas I have are just, yeah. I just, I should think more before I do these, but donuts are just amazing. They're so tasty. Until you've eaten like 70 of them. Oh man. Second box is down. I'm not gonna lie, everybody, right now, I feel exceptionally horrible. I feel like I have glaze seeping out of every pore in my body. Oh man, I'm gonna pull something together because I do not have a lot of time left and I have quite a lot of donuts still left to eat. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to do this. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to do this. I have no idea how I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm feeling extra confident today myself. I'm gonna set an eight hour time limit for myself. I think I got this one in the back. Oh, well, I, uh, I have two hours and 41 minutes left. Now it's time for the number generator to decide where I go yet again. Number four, what is number four? Great, the least popular donuts near me. Least popular donuts near me. 
Alright everybody, well, here we are. Goodness. Like when people talk about sugar crashes, you just go, oh, it, it's not, yeah, whatever, a sugar crash, but this is a legit sugar crash. Uh, we have an hour and 25 minutes left. So just to show you guys the date and time, it's 6.50. Uh, still the same day, February 24th. I also feel like I need to slip into something a little bit different. All right, yeah, it's not a real tux, but this shirt will do. So right here, folks, I have the worst rated donuts near me, which actually don't look all that bad. I feel like I'm fighting a losing battle right now because I have eaten so many donuts today. And, oh man. So I'm gonna give this my best shot. I do not believe in quitting and I still have an hour and 23 minutes left. So I'm gonna do what I can. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, like the video if you haven't already, because if this video gets 30,000 likes, I will do this with another food. And if I get that many likes, I'm going to go down in the comment section of this video. I'm gonna pick one random person's suggestion down below in the comment section for what I should try to eat my body weight in for the next one of these. So if you have a suggestion, leave it down below in the comments. Now that that's out of the way, I think it's time for meal. Meal number four. I think I'm gonna start with the Homer. Looks like a Homer Simpson donut. I'm gonna start with this one first. Rice side of 11. Not bad. Not bad at all. Glazed. Mm. Time for me to call in some much needed reinforcements here. You guys know anything about sweet challenges. Flavor fatigue just makes you very fatigued. And it wears away at your sanity. It's like it's worn away at mine. So I got some Pringles here. And I know. All right, I, what I'm doing is a stupid, reckless, there's, I'm eating all this sugar and donuts, but I got reduced fat, Pringles, all right? Cut me some slack. W. Oh, got it. Oh yes, so much more efficient this way. What does my life come to? I'm dipping donuts into Pringles. I'm surprised it's taking me long to resort to Dunkin'. You guys know, donuts and coffee, just, they go ahead and in. All right, we well, uh, we have four donuts left. At this point, I feel like I'm about to give birth to a baby made of sugar donuts and lots and lots of regret. What I did bring a friend to the party. Dude, I used to do this all the time. My brain just wasn't working today because I forgot that I could do this. You know, all you gotta do to add some salt into your life and some extra deliciousness is just hit it with some peanut butter. No sugar added, of course. Wouldn't want to get too crazy. Man, I wish this was a salad. Oh, wow. Oh. Man, why can't this just be a vegetable? And now for the moment of truth, will 7-Eleven's apple fritter actually be, be good? That's actually not bad. All right, so the 7-Eleven donuts are officially down. It looks like we have about an hour and a half. No, hour left, hour and 30 seconds left. I have no idea how I've gotten this far, but I have. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, total calories consumed along with the total macros consumed so far right up there. I have an hour left, but I'm gonna keep going until the end, everyone. I'm gonna hit the number generator, and maybe I can get lucky. Number two. What is number two? Well, at least it wasn't the giant donut. I got an idea. 
I'm here at the grocery store for one thing and one thing only. Apparently I can eat any donut that I want. I know what you're all thinking right now. You're going, Eric, you have donut holes on the table. You don't have donuts. Well, actually donut holes are donuts. I mean, after eating thousands of calories worth of donuts today, I feel like I can make that roll, okay? Dude, I have 49 donuts left. I just have a special place in my heart. Got 26 minutes left. peanut butter for chunky dudes like me. Mm. I don't blame any of you who are gonna look at this and think it's weird. I just wanna get to my goal and I hate failing challenges. And it's very apparent that salt is helping me out a lot. That's a lot of salt. Oh man, but I needed it. Woo! So I have 10 donut holes remaining. Oh my goodness. All I gotta say, everyone, is that. Yeah. I'm just gotta pretend like it's a vegetable. These four I dedicate to all of you guys. Love you guys. Just like that, everybody, the challenge has been completed with 15 minutes and 41 seconds left on the clock. I'm gonna go ahead and put the total donut count officially on the screen right now. Total calories will be up there as well, along with the total macros. Now it's time to get my post-challenge weight. If you guys like this one, you're gonna love the donut challenge that I'll be putting on the screen right now for you all to go watch. I'll also have another food challenge playlist that I have on my channel right up there for you to enjoy as well. Of course, if you're new around here and you love food challenges, hit that subscribe button along with the like button and I'll see you all in the next food challenge.